welcome to the Spiritist Society of Melbourne. We are a group of Spiritists who study the spiritualist philosophy, Spiritism, and come every Tuesday night to share our understanding to, about specific topics under the lens of Spiritism. My name is Thiago Comitri and I'm a volunteer with this group. Tonight, I'm going to share my understanding to the topic masks. Um, I'm a student of this philosophy, and what I'll be exposing here is my understanding to the topic according to my current knowledge on the subject. This might differ from other members of this group, as well as from other students of this philosophy. So, how many disguises or masks do you have to use in different circumstances of social life? Within your family, as a child or as a brother, sister, or as a par partner or a parent, at to work with your colleagues, with your manager, we sometimes our behavior is different with each of them. How many times have you said, I'm never angry? or I'm not resentful. Is it true? So my presentation tonight will be based on this book, Changing Attitudes from the Spirit Hamad, written by the medium Francisco de Spirito Santo Net. And as the title says, by changing our attitude, it proposes to perceive life from a different perspective. And based on the Spirit's book as well, which contains the principles of Spiritism according to the teachings of Spirits of high degree, transmitted through various mediums um, around the world, then received, coordinated and codified by Allan Kardec. Also the Spirit, the Gospel according to Spiritism, which contains the explanation of the moral maxims of Christ in concordance with Spiritism and their applications to the different circumstances of life. Spiritism, this spiritualist philosophy, says that we are individuals with the main objective of progressing spiritually toward perfection and at the same time being co-creators. So, this philosophy says that we are spirits, and this spirit is nothing more than our soul. We say that it is a soul because it is embodied, it is inhabiting this, this body, this corporeal life. And because it is in this state, we say that the spirit calls or is named as a soul, but they are essentially the same thing. When our body, this organic life, just sees, the, the soul is released, is free again in the, in the invisible and the infinite universe, and is a spirit again. This spirit, this soul, has an individuality. It is unique in the whole infinite universe. And the main objective of this soul is to reach perfection. It has been created simple and ignorant, and it, it, must, it must reach perfection one day. But how it's possible? This is possible through reincarnation through many existences, as the one we are living at the moment. This is just one in millions of existence that we need, our spirits need to progress. So, if you imagine the primitive people, and if you could extend your thought and think that you was in that state one day, and now you are in this high evolved society, not too high, but it's, it's a civilized, civilized uh, society, we are progressing. 
and that is that is that happens with everything and everyone so one day we'll reach perfection and at the same time being co-creators it means that just because we exist and we have this life to 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 progress just doing good we are we are collaborating with the co-creation with the whole thing so by helping others by doing our work we are helping somehow someone and we are helping the whole thing even if we don't know and we don't have the, the visibility of that but we are already contributing with everything with this concept in mind i would start with the content that hamad brought to us as we do not always trust the power of transformation inside us we tend to run from our inner feelings using masks to hide from the external world that's how hamad starts this topic in his book power of transformation nobody can change anyone else as i said before we are spirits intelligent beings that populate the infinite universe and come to this corporeal or this physical uh, life this physical world to progress because we need to experience the different circumstances of life the hardships and relationships which is very difficult for for the level where we are but for that we need to change ourselves to be better right to transform ourselves to then be better when we return to this spiritual life um and how this happens it just depends on us and Hamad is saying here that the power of transformation is already inside us. So transforming ourselves, people who live with us and who are with us, like our family members and our close friends, colleagues, who notice that. They will perceive that we are changing our attitudes probably and that could start a wave of changing because ah oh, that person is different and naturally people start to react differently with you because you are different that's a totally natural and good feeling and help everyone to to think of of that of changing run from our inner feelings that's an easy way for us due to specific feelings perhaps to escape from our our problems or difficulties that we are facing at the moment easier to just run away isn't it but the problem is still there we know that then we use masks to hide from the external world so maybe for example just use an example someone in our job we don't like that person or we got an issue with some someone else there and we just treat them differently or in a good way that we wouldn't like to to treat them but we don't face that issue like we don't ask that person uh, to come for a coffee for us to, to have a, a conversation and to put things um, right. So to explain what's going on, what you're feeling. And sometimes we are just using a mask to hide your feelings, your real feelings, and not being who you really are, not being yourself, pretty much. But this happens because 
we we don't want her to be exposed. We don't want her to, to expose that feeling because we might think that it's bad or that will not make us happy or anything else. So the fear of being exposed makes us is one way to make us to use a kind of mask to disguise this. Ahmed continues and, say, and he says, so any convenient feelings we have are automatically neutered. We say, I'm never angry, I'm not resentful, thus trying to protect you under a false mask of humility and understanding. So, inconvenient feelings. Everything is because of those inconvenient feelings, as I was saying. In general, we actually do not know much about our feelings because we, we are not getting in touch with them. To escape, the escape seems to be easiest, the easiest way for us and that's why we naturally use masks to differ for different appearances because as i said it's easier for us to hide to hide ourselves or, or our feeling than face that issue to face that problem and to go through to to solve them but in my viewpoint i think using masks is fine in an appropriate moment. The issue actually is when we use those masks all the time and we don't give the chance for ourselves to, to be ourselves. And for any situation, for with anyone, anywhere, we are using this kind of masks, not being ourselves. That's, that's not good. That's what Hamed will explain here in, 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 his, um, in his teachings. So we should be us as we really are, but there are some inner matters we need to address. So Hamed explains, masks have become a part of our existence, for we are not totally good or me, but we cannot escape our inner fight. Inner fight, even unconsciously, unconsciously afraid to be exposed, as I said before, or, or having your pride hurt. It's necessary to face it, for only this way we can understand and eliminate the conflicts that keep us captive throughout our lives. So, the use of these masks should help us to identify in ourselves what's going on, what those feelings are triggering in ourselves that need to be improved instead of using masks. So if you are using masks or if something, those, <clears throat> those feelings, inconvenient feelings that trigger something as that we don't want us to expose and we just change our behavior. That's for us to think and to, to, to mark that, to work on later on. So why this is triggering this feeling in myself and why am I acting like that? So that's, that's uh, um, a clue for us to, to follow and to try to, to resolve. So the first thing to do is analyze who we really are. Look at the mirror. Do reflections about the actions we have been doing to others and to ourselves as well. Analyze your behavior. Why don't you like this or that? What do these feelings triggering yourself is angry is frustration is it's it's um bring up a memory from your past that makes you feel these these feelings these emotions and you just try to 
to hide that, not to expose those feelings, and then you you act differently. Because maybe there are some emotions, some feelings, or some some problems inside yourself that is not resolved yet. This is the inner fight that Hamad has ex was talking before, and we we that we need to figure out and try to resolve. Ahmed explains here that when sold with maturity, responsibility, and acceptance, our inner problems become real tools that allow us to grow stronger and to reach a higher level of awareness and development. Reaching a higher level of awareness and development. That's our main goal for this existence. Working ourselves, figure out what our improvement points are. And then we can work on those those points, right? I'm so selfish. I just realized that I'm, I'm very proud. And okay, I want to change. I need to change because I need to be better, a better spirit. Because there is something beyond that is much higher, much evolved that I, I don't have access because I'm not there yet. But I want to work now on myself to reach there. So reach a higher level of awareness and development. What I need. Solve our inner problems. So we must never keep them hidden from ourselves as if they were hide hideous things, but accept these emotions that emerge from our dark side so that we can see ourselves as we really are. Identifying and accepting our imperfection through our inner problems is the way to achieve that transformation. And as Hamad said in the beginning, the power of transformation is already inside us. We need to understand why we should transform ourselves. This philosophy, spiritism, helps us to comprehend the reason for that. When we have the reason why we should, we should change, why we should be a better person, a better very spirits to others and most to, to ourselves because the path is individual. As I said before, we are individuals created simple and ignorant with the main objective to, to reach perfection. We need to care about ourselves, but sharing this world, we are not alone, right? We need to look, look to our neighbors people around us, people that live with us, work with us, our friends, helping them as we can. If they ask us uh, an advice, we can, we can give them what we, we would do because we are in different levels of evolution and we are sharing the same place. So when we do that, we are also con collaborating, contributing with the whole thing, with the creation. But we also are reaching a higher level of awareness and development of ourselves. That's the main goal. Refusing to admit that growing means growing through hard experiences and through constant transformation we sometimes let people decide who we should be, which might make us important in life. That's why we are going through this existence, to evolve, to grow. But that means going through the problems we have in our lives, the, the difficulties we are facing at the moment, we should go through them. Not just use a mask and hide, not afraid to be exposed. All these experiences help us to transform ourselves. 
these they are the opportunity we we have they are the trials we got to to help us to develop so how are we managing them when we have this we already have our issues but our problems how are we managing those problems are we trying to escape from them or are we going through them to resolve with maturity responsibility and acceptance growing means going through hard experiences and through constant transformation that's not easy i use life it is not the stage where we are in this world as the, 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 the degree of evolution that our spirit are at the moment in the journey, in the whole journey, is exactly to, to grow, is to develop ourselves more, to be able to live in more of the world. We have a lot of problems here, but we also have good, good things, good moments happy moments with our family, friends. We should experience everything. But remember that we also have problems that we need to solve. The way in which others perceive us has a great influence on us. Oppressive friends, religious fanatics, dominant Dominating parents and uncompromising, uncompromising spouse might have had a great deal of influence on our abilities and even on our personality. Therefore, let us not be superiors, showing behaviors of race, uh, race perfection. It will not do us good psychologically, neither give us a chance to grow. We are not better than anyone else. We are all in the same boat. We are all doing our best. And we are all trying to solve our own problems. Everyone has problems. So sometimes some, sometimes some problems is not good for you. Sorry. Sometimes some problems is easier for you. But sometimes for other people, this is very hard. And it's not because of that that we are superior than them, but we have, maybe we have already experienced that kind of issue and for us seems to be easy. So the best we can do is put the masks away and analyze our emotions and feelings in order, in order to improve them. By focusing our energies, we can expel the negative outflow and turn it into a real tool. As I've said before, it's only by getting to know ourselves, getting in touch with our emotions and feelings that we can figure out who we really are, and then work in our self-transformation. If you don't know what we need to fix, how we can fix it? It's the same as if you go to see a doctor and you don't say where is the pain. They don't know how to help you. Without knowing where we need to work on ourselves, how can we improve? Hence, how can we evolve? Accepting our difficulties is the first step into transformation. But in order to do that, we have to avoid excuses like changing house, jobs are made, for that does not heal us indeed. These changes only occur externally. Besides, inner matters do not change geographically. If not faced and solved, our problems will follow us everywhere. So I got a friend that 
it's it's hard for me to to explain but what i can say is she 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 got a job she usually got a job and she has a problem with her boss and she becomes so so stressed that she just uh, decide to 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 quit the job and to to find another job but that is that is in a few months so there is something that she needs to to solve maybe she doesn't like to to have a manager to have someone to give her tasks to do i don't know the same person has a problem with relationships so her relationships is it takes like um, it lasts for two three years maximum and i don't know maybe it's one of her inner problems i i cannot assume that but that's an example and we know people you know other i know other people in the same condition so people that had difficulty to face their problems so it's easier just to to leave you know instead of facing that issue something happened in in, in their life or in the small city where that person lives and that person just decide ah i want to move from here for example, the person who lives in a small city and got an issue there with some people or some situation that was very, very embarrassing. And then, as everyone pretty much knows everyone, this person just decide, ah, I want to move from this city because in the new place, no one will know me. No one will know about this, this situation. And that's a way of escaping not facing the issue, not going through that to heal that inside, inside that person. So as Hamad says here, uh, why we do not, why we don't solve our problems, they will exist and will be part of our life, avoiding us to progress most of the times. Ahmed finishes saying, despite of all efforts to be good, some trees do not bear the best fruit. Likewise, men are, are to be recognized by their external fruit or by evil acts hidden behind the false virtues, but by their internal development and emotional awareness. Only these people will be able to bear the good fruit. So that's the, the, the message and what I would like to share when talking about masks. And that's a good exercise for us to, to, to bear in mind that we should go through our, our problems because that is the trials that we have to, to go through, to, to overcome, and that will be an experience for our spirit in a, in a next life. That experience might be easier for us if you have another similar issue or to help others to go through because you have a right experience and resolve that problem in the current life. So, hope you have enjoyed this and that will help you somehow. Um, see you next time. Thank you.